All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond at this hour, where the third edition of the India-Central Asia Dialogue is presently underway in India's national capital, New Delhi. It is a three-day long affair and leaders from five Central Asian nations are here in New Delhi to discuss ways to further strengthen ties, with particular focus being on trade and connectivity and cooperation on Afghanistan, which will of course figure as an important and a prominent topic. Now, India's External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar is hosting the dialogue in New Delhi with the foreign ministers of Kazakhstan, the Kyrgyz Republic, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and the Uzbekistan and Uzbekistan in attendance. The ministers are also expected to pay a joint courtesy call to the Indian Hello. Prime Minister Narendra Modi after the crucial meeting later this afternoon. Now, the dialogue is taking place in the backdrop of India reaching out to the five nations for participation of their top leaders as the chief guests at the upcoming Republic Day celebrations. Earlier, Dr. S. Jayashankar had held diplomatic talks with Tajikistan's foreign minister on the sidelines of the main event. Now, during the talks, the two leaders also discussed issues of bilateral relations and stressed the need to implement the agreements reached between the two countries in strengthening mutually beneficial cooperation. According to India's Foreign Ministry statement, Jayashankar and Muhriddin discussed the developments in Afghanistan. The Indian Foreign Minister also appreciated Tajikistan's participation in the regional security dialogue that was held in the month of November earlier this year. The two sides have also signed agreements on diplomatic training and program of cooperation. Earlier, the Tajik Foreign Minister also paid his tributes to India's father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, at Rajghat. Now, over the last few years, India has ramped up its engagement with the Central Asian nations. India considers Central Asia as a part of its extended neighbourhood. The dialogue is, of course, the second meeting that's been organised by India after the 2020 virtual talks earlier this year. The Foreign Minister S. Jayashankar member had also visited the region as part of a three-nation tour to Central Asia to expand India's bilateral ties with the region. All right, now to give us more insights in terms of what is to happen as a part of this summit, we are joined in by Vyond Sidan Zimil, who is joining us live on this broadcast. Good morning to you, Sidan. Bring us up to speed with what is on the agenda as a part of this very crucial meeting. Well, Mohammed, in about 30 minutes from now, the meeting will begin. This is the third Central Asia-India Foreign Minister's Dialogue. The last one happened virtually because of the COVID crisis. And before that, it happened in Samarkand, Uzbekistan. Three important things will be on agenda. One, of course, Afghanistan. We know that not only India is worried, but the Central Asian countries are worried over a spillover impact from a situation in Afghanistan since Taliban takeover, especially worrisome for three countries, that is Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, who share land border with Afghanistan. The second will be Chabar port. India will be pitching for uh, Chabar port uh, for connectivity with Central Asia, something that has been part and parcel of discussion with these countries. We know that just recently India, Iran and Uzbekistan held a meeting on, uh, on, on use, on joint use of uh, uh, the Chabar port. And third, of course, and the most important uh, uh, Something you have already pointed out is uh, the Republic Day Parade uh, uh, invitation. India has invited the five Central Asian countries to Republic Day Parade uh, as the guest. Uh, it is, of course, uh, a big ticket event uh, which will take place in the month of January and shows the close cultural and civilizational linkages between India and Central Asia. Absolutely indeed, Siddhanta. It's, it's very interesting that this, this, of course, is a meeting that is taking place. I want you to also draw connections in terms of how this meeting will, of course, you know, try bring in more cooperation between India and Central Asia with respect to the situation that is unfolding in Afghanistan. 
Well, of course, Afghanistan has been top of the concerns uh, both here in New Delhi and the five Central Asian capitals. We saw earlier this year India hosting the NSA meeting of uh, the uh, the Central Asian countries, uh, Russia, Iran, here in Delhi. And we know that uh, when it comes to uh, the worries, Tajikistan is specifically worried over uh, the Tajik minorities in uh, Afghanistan. They being not part of the inclusive uh, government, and that is why uh, we know we know that how. Tajiks have been reacting to developments in uh, Afghanistan. In fact, they have been one of the most vocal uh, vocal commentators publicly on the situation in Afghanistan. Next comes Uzbekistan, which shares a land border, and we know that Uzbekistan is always keen for connectivity with uh, the world. Given it is doubly landlocked country, uh, with Afghanistan falling in the hands of Taliban, uh, that connectivity comes to a, a grinding halt, and that is why it's a worry for uh, Uzbekistan. Turkmenistan, another Central Asian country that shares border. Of course, it's an it it's a country which is uh, of course a close country which hasn't been uh, very open to the world and it has uh, been neutral when it comes to its foreign policy. Uh, but it of course has a worry over situation in Afghanistan, uh, which of course privately it will talk about. But largely when it comes to Afghanistan, the big focus is how situation, especially the humanitarian situation, uh, uh, India and of course these Central Asian countries can provide help. Help uh, to India, of course, has offered 50,000 metric ton of wheat. That, of course, has to go uh, through Pakistani territory. And modalities uh, is being discussed between Islamabad and New Delhi. Absolutely, indeed, Zaman. Thank you very much, indeed, for joining us and getting us all those updates. There, we'll of course come back to you as more details emerge in this story. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.